Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Nat G Command with a little beacon rush on Dead City here in War Robots. And I want to run something a little underpowered to start off with. Um, I'm doing, you know, the uh, operations pass and I need to get, uh, you know, so much damage done with the DSC bot. Well, the only thing I have is a siren. This is a level 9 Mark 1 uh, siren. And I've got on here, uh, just for giggles, I put uh, two level 7 MK1 Spirit Smoothas. And I have a Cremola on top there, an Eldritch Cremola. And uh, that is like level two. It's like hardly leveled up at all. Uh, and I am running in this in like Master League. So uh, I'm, I'm in Master One and yeah, I'm probably gonna hit some Champion League players, but this I'm actually kind of impressed with still. Uh, even after the Smoothas took the nerf, uh, you know, a little, you know, clip size went down, reload uh, went uh, a little longer and it's, you know, it's definitely not the metal weapon it used to be. It's still not bad. Seriously. Uh, as long as you're willing to hide behind some cover to let these things reload, they're not horrible weapons. In fact, I might actually consider continue leveling these up. Um, I may take these all the way up to, you know, level 12 MK2. Just for the fact of, uh, honestly, they're not a bad weapon, especially here on uh, Siren. It seems to be working pretty decent for me. I just gotta, you know, people are gonna be hunting me left and right with this. But I can still, like, even looking out there, I see a couple sirens running already. Now, I have done some different builds with this. I've got uh, some Vipers that are level 9 MK1 and then a, a, uh, a Spear, level 3 MK1. That actually is a pretty interesting build on here as well. But this one here, just I just put it together and thought, you know what, I'll give this a shot. And honestly, I'm, very, I'm still very impressed. I, back when these first dropped, and they were the unquote, quote, meta of the, there we go, got a kill even, sweet. Um, these things were nightmares on the battlefield for a long time. And you know what? They're still, they're just not bad. Definitely, definitely I think they're worth uh, leveling up. So I'm definitely going to be uh, putting these on the list of weapons I'm going to be uh, putting back into action. Like I said, the reload, it's a little long. Those things, you see, this is not a brawler, brawler build. This is definitely reload and be a tactical uh, wipeout. Just go out there and snipe something off. Look for those wounded bots, tear them up out there on the battlefield. And of course, I got the uh, Yang Lee pilot on here, and that, that helps quite a bit as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom, double kill. Sweet. MK1, <laughs> level 7 weapons. Okay, we'll make it work. We're going to make it work. Now, if I get a chance to, uh, if I should have enough points built up already. I mean, yeah, I've got the Titan charged up already. Um, I'm going to run the Heimdall. I just uh, did a video uh, that I just published for you guys yesterday of a an interesting build on the Heimdall. It's, I, it's kind of an, an immortal Heimdall, and we'll give that uh, you know we'll give that title credit to AD Gaming because he was running something very interesting from Test Server here last week that showed uh, you know the brand new uh, energy the bubble the bubble machine gun and three repair amplifiers. Well, I'm running on live server Panta rolls to give me healing. Oh, yeah, I finally got hammered out by a, an MK3 scatter. Oh, that makes sense. Or maybe not. It was an Apparition MK2 gun. But uh, I'm running a damage control module, a, uh, you know, a uh, onslaught reactor, <laughs> and then a couple grand, uh, was it the grand balanced uh, modules, the ones that give you damage and armor you know, improvement. And I tell you, between the Pantagruels and <laughs> A damage control module, and of course the regular healing ability on this. This thing is just a beast. It stays on the battlefield. It has staying power. And I'm definitely going to be taking this up to a level 150. I'm at like 139 right now. But we will definitely be taking this up a little higher. Whoa! He just flung someone. See, he couldn't fling the he couldn't fling the big old Heimdall, but he surely flung that other bot with his uh, his Arthurian death fart, as I like to call it. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy a little love right here. Oh, ho, 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 I thought I was going to get him. But look, I still got 300,000 hit points left. It's almost, that's like only 100,000 off from my uh, my maxed out Fenrir. <laughs> look, it's just a beast, and I'm healing. Just by shooting weapons, I haven't even hit the button yet to do actual healing. I'm just using the, uh, the innate ability of the bot, along with the weapons. And look, I'm back up to over 400,000. Sweet, and I just saved that, uh, you know, Nice double kill. I just saved that healing for a little speed boost and uh, 
a little healing if it gets a little uh, little intense. So let's go ahead and take this down the battlefield. Now the weapons on here, my panther girls are level 25 on the top and 20 on the bottom. So these are pretty close to, at least two of them are maxed out. Now what I'm waiting for is, I saw in a Reddit article, that we will be getting a nuclear amplifier for the Titans. A repair amplifier and then a nuclear amplifier on this, along with a damage control <laughs> module, and then you know probably run an onslaught reactor. This thing is going to be a monster. And when pilots come out, oh my gosh, when pilots come out for the Titans, the Titans are gonna be just, they're gonna be insane. They, I mean, seriously. When the Titans first came out, they just dominated the game. And I really hated that point in the game when I called Titan time. And all the Titans were out because it was just, oh, nice godlike, sweet. I mean, it just, it was just vicious. Oh, look at chunks of him flying, sweet. It's still spinning in the air. Nice. Come on, come on, Titan Slayer, sweet. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I want to get to a living legend if I can. It'd be so sweet. Good. We got ourselves a Minos right this good. There it is, living legend, sweet. Not much left. Oh, but still, I got my living legend. Love it. But look for the Titans to become big, big menaces on the battlefield again in 8.8, 8.9, and uh, then a little bit, maybe up to 9.0. It's, we're going to see some big changes in the game as far as uh, deployment of Titans. Okay, we're running the Angler. The, the pay to win, lovely. Which, actually, it's not as bad as it used to be. It's nerfed a little bit, but still quite vicious. All right, there we go. We got the victory. Let's go ahead and take a look at the scores. Just, just a beast. Uh, now only got nine kills, 3.8 million. Definitely have had more kills and more damage there, but boy, what a fight. A living legend with uh, the Heimdall. That was pretty sweet. With multiple Titan Slayers. That was awesome. All right, you guys, time to bail out here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm dropping it. All right, you guys, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield.